Hello. In this video, we're going to show you ways you can help your child develop their understanding of language using three information carrying words. In earlier videos, we saw how children first begin to understand information carrying words and showed how to help children understand instructions using one and two information carrying words. Now we are going to use three information carrying words in a sentence or instruction. You can have lots of fun with this and try introducing language at this level as you play or do everyday activities. First, we'll combine position words and objects. Look, Mummy's got toys. And I'm going to find, look, we've got Bob and he's going to go do do do. He's going on the chair. Yeah. <laughs> Bob is on the chair. Alison gives examples of the toy going in different positions around the room. Now she can check that Joshua understands the names of the items. Josh, can you show me the chair? Red. It's red, yes. Can you show me the chair? Good boy, that's right, there's the chair. And can you And show also me understands the, the position words. Can you show me on the chair? Where is on? There, and where is under? There, clever boy. Now that Alison is confident that he understands at a single word level, she's ready to try giving Joshua instructions with three information carrying words. Can you put the ball on the chair? Okay. Clever boy, good listening. Can you put the ball under the table? Listen, can you put the ball under the table? the balls under the table. We're now going to show you how you can help your child understand instructions with three information carrying words including an action. For Alison and Joshua it's the animals bath time. See how she gives three information carrying words including the action word wash. And mummy wash the piggy's tail. Mummy wash this. Mummy wash the tiger's tail. Now Alison checks if Joshua understands the action words and the animal's body parts. And can you find the tiger? Good. And can you find the elephant? Good boy. And where's the pig? Hang on, we can do that in a minute. Good boy. And can you show me, Joshy, can you show me something for washing? That's right. Good boy. And can you show me something for drying? That good boy, that's right. Now, Joshy, listen. Can you show me, before we do the next thing, can you show me the piggy's tail? Good. And where's the tiger's feet? Once she's happy that Joshua understands the vocabulary, she's ready to combine the words in an instruction with three information carrying words. Joshy, can you wash the piggy's feet? You need to listen carefully, Joshy, because that's the tiger. Can you wash the piggy's feet? Okay. Good boy. That's right. Sometimes children do find this level of language hard, so you just need to show them again. Now we're going to demonstrate how you can help your child understand instructions, including big and little. Jenny and Sebastian are playing a posting game. So, for example, <gasps> the Big monster wants the apple. Ready? We <coughs> like that. And the little cat wants the biscuit. Ready? Oh, he nearly bit my finger. Jenny starts by giving examples of the language. Next, she wants to check that Sebastian understands the vocabulary needed for the game. So, can you find me the banana? Excellent. And just leave it there. And um, what about the cake? Brilliant, that one's there. And so we've got my friends here. Where is the little monster? Oh, there he is. He's got some nice fluffy ears, isn't he? Now Sebastian is ready. She tries instructions with three information carrying words. So the little cat wants the banana. Ready? <gasps> Did he bite your finger? Nearly. Oh, nearly. Oh, very Naughty good. Cat. Naughty cat. And the big monster wants the cake. Excellent. Oh, he says yum, yum, yum. 
These are some ideas to help develop your child's understanding of language that has three information-carrying words. Maybe you can have a go at these instructions together.